What's going on everyone? I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step on how to stake joy. Let's get into it. You're gonna to want to find these two sites, which are polkadot.js.org and joystream.subscan.io. You can find them at the bottom of the joystream.org down below. I've included all the links down below so you have uh, step-by-step -step instructions, but uh, go ahead and click on scroll from the bottom of uh, joystream.org. Scroll to the bottom and you'll see chain dashboard and block explorer. Both of those links will pop open and you'll see the polkadot.js is the first one that we need. And the second one is the block explorer, which is the joystream.subscan.io. Once we have both of those, we do want to open up our Talisman wallet and uh, we want to add a secondary uh, account. So I have my first account, which has my joy, which I need for the minimum of 1,666. And then we're going to create a controller wallet. And then all you have to do to do that is click on these more options, click on add account, click on new, click on new polka dot. And then I, so I typed controller, so controller, and then create uh, account. And that's where we are right now. And so now we need to turn on our second wallet so that under the accounts and my accounts, it shows up under this extension. So we're gonna go ahead and click the talisman extension, click on this top section where it says polka dot accounts, and we're gonna actually show that account. And all we're gonna do is then refresh the page and it will be live like this. Make sure to send one joy to your controller wallet because we'll need it for fees. So all you have to do is click on send, click on joy, click on controller. All right, go back. Uh, click on the funny wallet and then two wallet and then one joy. Review and then send and then you'll have like two cents in there. So we're gonna click next and then we have to choose which ones we want to nominate. And that depends on how much we want to contribute to each different validator. I think there's 39 of them. So if we actually go back and pull up a secondary uh, account of this, so very, very easy. And we can see the validators are right here. So if we go to staking, you can see all the different validators and the commission. So depending on how much commission they're taking and how much uh, they are, uh, how many nominators are based off of the number right here is how many uh, you are splitting your, your commissions with essentially. So you kind of have to figure out which one is the best one for you. So I'm just gonna pick the ones with the lowest uh, nominators. So if I could just, here's one with seven, eight, three. So I'll pick the one with three, seven, and I think there's like a 19 or 17 at this hop, 15. So I'll just pick those three and let me just open those up. Copy one, the next one, which was the three one, I believe. And in case you can't see it, there is a little copy button right at the top right corner here. Uh, I just have to add that so that you can see it just to show it's on my screen. Right here, 25%, so it's pretty solid. And finally, what the heck? And again, I'm just pushing the copy button and then searching on uh, this screen right here, adding it and then nominating it. Once you have all three, you'll click on bond, you'll click on the fee, and then you'll click sign and approve. And then once it is approved, it will show in nominations and you'll be waiting for it to turn from waiting to active. We have to wait for an era to bypass to actually have that show up. So uh, now it's a waiting game. So that's it guys, enjoy.